going to do a product review of the Visionariums that I have. And this was requested by AJ, whose username on YouTube is soon to be 9 So thanks for the video request, AJ. If you watch my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with uh, Visionariums. I love them. I highly recommend them to anybody and everybody. They're just really well made and they're very convenient and they're perfect for leopard geckos. So if you're looking for a new kind of tank or something, I definitely recommend these. Um, they're pretty, they're kind of hard to find sometimes, but you can get them from tri um, LLL Reptile, Triple L Reptile, however you say it. What I like about the Visionariums is especially the sliding front glass doors, of course, that's very convenient. Um, I also like how sturdy they are. And they're stackable, even though I don't stack them, um, they are stackable, so I'll put a picture of how they look when they're stacked. Visionariums are considered 20 gallon long size tanks. They are 30 inches this way, 12 inches up and down, and 12 inches width to the back. They're the perfect size for one leopard gecko. I wouldn't put more than two leopard geckos in each visionarium. When you get them, you do have to put them together, and it's not that hard. Um, I have another video on how to do that. I just think they're really well made. They are a little pricey, but I think you have to pay for quality. That's just one of those things in life, you know. They're, the parts of them are replaceable, so if you something happens and if you break a piece of glass of it or something, you instead of buying the whole thing over again, you can buy pieces of it, which I think is really nice. Um, I recommend using the reptile carpet with these, and it's a little tricky sizing it because um, they are such a weird size. Um, but usually, I just I usually get a 29 gallon size carpet, and then I cut it to fit. And they do have rounded edges, so you can cut your um, carpet a little rounded um, to help with that. Um, and they do have a little bit of a lip, so if you did want to use loose substrate um, for whatever reason. Uh, it has a little bit of a lip, so it might be a little messy. I've never tried it. so It's very easy to leave these open. I've done it before. Um, actually, Gypsy right here. I've left her door open before, and she got out. Um, she didn't go far. I think I found her under the desk right there. But um, that is quite a, quite a drop. As you can see, that's like from there to the floor. So that concerns me. So um, The sliding glass door is a little bit of a tricky tricky thing when you're trying to um, you know make sure no escapes happen so what I did my idea was I put stickers um, so I would know I can look I can quickly look up and down to see on each one to see if the stickers are lined up and that's how I know if the doors are open or closed and see when you open them they're not lined up anymore and then I have one on the bottom for the other door and that's how I um, deal with that see as you can see they move around and as long as they're lined up, I know I can quickly look and see, oh, they're all closed. So, also on the side, the vents here, they have air vents, which help regulate temperature, make sure it doesn't get too hot inside. But um, if you have air vents, like here, next to your visionariums, they can um, throw off the temperature a bit. So up here, especially in the summer when the air conditioning's on, I have to put hers a little warmer than everyone else's, since the air vent's right there. And on the top, they have... Um, vents as well and I use it for storage too they have little holes where you can put light bulbs or something but uh, leopard geckos don't need anything like that hi gypsy what are you doing um so I use it for storage and um, I actually have little these little push lights that I keep up there um just for see in case at night I need to see something like like that so those are handy, and they don't put off heat or anything, so I don't have to worry about that. I use these Zoomed thermostat things. They're, um, I think they're called uh, Reptostats. That's how I control the heat, and it holds two, two plugs per thing. So I have Gypsy and, and Luna on one, and then Rip and Marley. And then down here I have these two right here. This is Nala's. Think, and then I have it over here with uh, Chloe. For heating your Visionarium, I recommend the Ultra Therm heating pads. They, you can get them at thebeanfarm.com and also I found a better place that was better priced. It was reptilebasics.com. Um, I'll put those in the sidebar. But these work best because see how they're long and narrow? Since the Visionariums are stackable, they have weird channels so they, the heat doesn't you know build up. So you can only put certain size heating 
um, pads in there. So these work perfect. There's This is the 6 by 23 inch. And I found that it works the best. I, I use them for all. I use the size for all of my Visionariums. And the Ultra Therm heat pads are a lot better, I think, quality than, um, let's say, your typical Zoomed heating pads. Because these these have hot spots. I don't know if you noticed. They go up to like 108 degrees. Even when I had them on a, um, a thermostat, they have hot spots. So, especially closer to the coils up here. So I don't really recommend these anymore. Um... They're good if you're on a budget and if you're in a squeeze or whatever, but I don't like I don't use these anymore. I just keep them on hand in case something horrible happens. With I I have this paranoid thing about my heating. And as you can see, this is the bottom of one of my Visionariums, and there's Ultra Therm six by twenty three. I use masking tape to keep it in place. Honestly, these are not that expensive. They're like twenty dollars, especially on the Reptile Basics uh, website that I told you about, and they come in different sizes. Um, this is another Ultra Therm. This is the 6x11. I highly recommend the Ultra Therm under tank heaters. I think they're very reliable and they are free of hot spots, which is good. And I think the highest temperature they go up to is like 95 or 96, which is um, safer for your reptile. Um, so you don't have to worry about burns and stuff like that. Jeffree Star.